Hi everyone, it's Helen and I want to show you a little paper making tip. I'm going to talk about charging the vat. So charging the vat means adding pulp because every time you make a sheet you remove pulp and I am not very scientific about it. I do it by feel and so I have my beater over here is full of pulp and I'm, I like to strain out my pulp so that I'm not adding so much water to my vat. So I wanna show you two ways. This is a great kitchen strainer that is a cone shape. I get it from, I got it from Carriage House Paper Making Supplies. I put it off for a long time because they're expensive, $75 or something, but totally worth it. And notice how I have my buckets on wheels too. Paper making is hard work on your back. So this is what I used to do. I would put pulp in a bucket, five gallon bucket, with a paint strainer. These paint strainers are just a couple dollars. And then you can lift this and squeeze out the water. Or you could even set it in a regular pasta strainer. And the holes in most pasta strainers are a little big, so I like lining it, because some of my pulps would slip through that. Now I don't always strain out my pulp, but I'm making a particularly thick sheet. So I'm gonna add a big bunch of this strain pulp, and then I need to really mix it in. 